guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining today. I hope you're doing okay. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you along in a day in my life. I feel like I've done quite a few of these lately, but I don't have all my makeup with me. I don't have all my clothes with me. I can't really go anywhere. So if you have any ideas of videos you would like me to film, whether it be like advice videos, college videos, cooking videos, anything like that, please drop those down below or DM me on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, today's just a Monday, so we're going to be working today, and it's kind of busy, and there are a couple things I want to do today, and in a little while, I'm going to have my house to this, my house to myself. Yeah, my house to myself. We're going to be taking up the house today, so yeah, I thought I'd bring you along. You can tell I did my nails. They're not very good, but um, I still got to get the paint around the skin. I'm not good at doing nails at all. I think when I finally get to go to a nail salon again, I'm probably going to bring like a bouquet of flowers to my nail lady because I miss her so much. We're starting our day as usual. I'm drinking some water and I've just really just come downstairs. It's like 7.30. Been hanging out with Daisy. We're about to go get coffee. She doesn't know that yet. We're probably going to go in like a minute. Okay guys, so we just got back. It's like 8 o'clock. Got the coffee. It's just so good. Um, Daisy had a great time. Why do you get water everywhere? Back into our slippers. I'm really sad because, um, I don't know what's happened, but they just feel clammy and I've had them since like, what, November or October even maybe, and I feel like it's almost, almost that time to get a new pair. I was hoping I could hold off till Christmas, but they're just so flat and clammy feeling, you know what I mean? You feel me? Okay guys, so I'm about to hop on my computer real quick before we get our breakfast. I also ran upstairs and changed into some pajama pants just because I had on bike shorts. I still have on my like graphic t-shirt. This is from Pink. Um, but these pajama pants are from Target and they are the softest pajama pants ever. I've talked about them before. I have the matching top, but it's at my apartment. Um, but yeah, these are just... So comfy to lounge around in and then i also went and got a cord because i forgot to add a clip to my um video that i'm uploading today so i'm about to do that so after i respond to a couple emails we are going to um finish the editing of a video and get that uploaded so yeah something i've been meaning to do for like a hot minute Okay guys, so it's about 9.30 now, so it's a little bit later, and I'm actually not really feeling breakfast, oddly, like the past week. I have not been hungry at all in the morning, and I was doing those green smoothies every day, and I need to make them because we have, like, the kale and the spinach, and I don't want to make it, don't want it to go bad, um, but I may make one in the afternoon and just wait and eat something for lunch, but yeah, I've been kind of waking up just not hungry. I've actually been, like, unintentionally intermediate fasting because I'm not really eating my first meal especially like on the weekends until like 11 or 12 um even the weekdays sometimes I really won't have solid food besides like coffee if I cut out coffee I really wouldn't have anything but water um but until like 11 or 12 and then I eat supper slash dinner at like between like 5 and like 6 30 every day so I really am kind of doing the eight hours of eating and then I don't really snack and then I'm not eating until like like 16 hours later. I wanted to get on right now and say one of my things that I'm going to do today is do fake tan. I'm so pasty. I laid out yesterday Sunday afternoon for like an hour and I was just getting so hot but I just want to be tan. You know have, I have my white nails. I want to have a fake tan so like saturday my mom and i had to drive down to the grocery store and we have a very small grocery store in our town so like the closest like Publix is like 45 minutes away but um i noticed ulta is doing curbside pickup so i did curbside pickup for some fake bake and i have fake bake but it's in my apartment 12 hours away so yeah i ordered some and i'm excited to use that today so we're gonna we're gonna do some fake bake today. So it is almost 11:30, and I'm so hungry because I haven't really eaten anything yet today. Um, so we're gonna make us some leftovers from last night. Oh, we got a ton. Okay, so we have some squash and zucchini, corn, fried okra. If you're from the south, this is like the south in one plate. And then my mom also made some chicken. So this is chicken with olive oil and everything but the bagel seasoning. So, so good. Um, everything but the bagel seasoning goes good on everything. So I'm going to put some of this on a plate and this is going to be our lunch. I'm so excited. Okay guys, my hair is just like not having it today. 
but um, it is a little bit later. It's like 1.30 and I've been kind of working straight all today um, without really taking a break and I've gotten so much stuff done so I feel so good and I'm in like a good spot for right now. Um, so with this little break that I have, I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the fake bake. This is the fake bake flawless, not sponsored, wish it was. I'm at home by myself right now so this is like <laughs> the perfect time because you kind of got to strip and apply everywhere so yeah i think i'm about to put this on and it doesn't it doesn't take long to put on normally i'll apply it it takes like probably 15 to 20 minutes for me to apply it and make sure it's not streaky and then i kind of like hang out without clothes on for about 30 minutes and then i'll put on loose clothing um and then you shower later to rinse off okay so this is what all it comes with it comes with gloves the fake bake obviously this little spray thing to put in there and a nice mitt so I think we're about to get started on this it looks really dark um, or the bottle does obviously but it really is not it kind of like adapts to your skin tone and it's streak free which is really important because I'm not very good guys yeah, so the fake tan is on I kind of messed up on this elbow but everything else looks pretty good I took it at the end and kind of patted like the bottom of my face with it so that way when I put on foundation it'll just blend up but this is like my natural not my natural color but my natural summer color and since I haven't been laying out as much I'm not like this color but it is nice to just have a tint back oh my gosh it is so hot so I'm standing under our ceiling fan because the whole time I was up there I was just sweating so it was just like I was rubbing in my sweat and I think I'm having a little breakdown because like I get really hot really fast and then I get really grumpy so yeah I'm oh, trying to cool down I just put on some loose clothing I have on the same pants I had on earlier and yeah trying to just cool off but it says you can let it sit for like four to six hours and I'm trying to look like a glowy goddess so I'm probably gonna wait until like tonight to shower so it'll be like six hours but yeah it's 2 30 now so I'm really hoping I don't know I really wanted to work out today um but you don't really want to sweat while it's kind of sitting on your skin oh my word it is so hot I'm just moving from fan to fan okay Daisy it's just me and you girl I'm sorry I think I woke her up with my random yelling also random i was at target the other day and i've been needing a cup how cute is this little thermosy cup okay so i know i said mondays are normally like really busy for me but today's been actually like a really chill monday um i think it's actually it was busy this morning but i think it's because i like didn't have the tv on i had no distractions and i just worked <laughs> and surprisingly if you focus you can get more done quicker so yeah that's what i did this morning and so I was in a good spot. I'm about to check on everything now to see where I'm at. Today was like super lenient, lenient, super chill with like meetings. I cannot talk. My face is like a combination of like slight fake bake, but then mostly I'm like flushed from sweating so hard. We are back in business. I actually have some work that I do need to do, um, but I also painted my toes to match my fingers and I don't think I did the worst job ever. I cannot paint my fingernails or my toenails. Both of them I'm bad at no matter what hand I'm using. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to go to the nail salon. That's gonna be just, oh man, it's gonna be so exciting. So bad, but I've actually been watching The Office for probably my 20th time. I started over, we're in season three now, and my mom gets so flustered with me because this is all I wanna watch, but I forget how good it is. I have been wanting to film a piano video for my Instagram for so long, and the other day when I was finally going to do it, I was going to do the Bella's Lullaby because I've been playing that forever. This key stopped working. And if you've no piano, this is like G, like the bass clef, whatever, you know, this is like one of the most important keys and it doesn't work anymore. And so I'm so sad, but I thought it'd be fun to show y'all some of like my piano books. So I have this one that I used to love to play out of from Glee. And if you look at like all the songs on here it has some really good songs take a bow was always my favorite and then halo um yeah some of them are a little hard for me but you know then this is from growing up my first hymn book i used to play piano at my church i can't play like a lot of songs out of there um because they're kind of hard for me i wish i would have really pushed to you know learn a little bit more but this is bella's lullaby i've had this memorized for like forever but sometimes since to have a little refresher 
then I also have a ton of Taylor, well, maybe not a ton, um, but I have some Taylor Swift, so I have the Speak Now. So this one has like some just classic songs in it. Um, so we have like I Believe I Can Fly. This is my recital song one year. Um, I wonder if I can still play that. I probably can. How about this? Chart hits of 2010 and 11. Come on now. You can look at these covers. Like, oh, like what's my name? And then this is like my favorite book I've ever had. Um, it has the best songs in it. I'm gonna take like a quick skim. So if you're like a piano nerd, you'll like these. I have more back here. Oh, I forgot I have red. Totally forgot I had this one. How cool is this? I used to get these from either my piano teacher or either um, Barnes and Noble. Okay, I just looked over my trophy because this is important. Um, Beyonce, the four album. This was amazing. You have Countdown, End of Time. Like, these are just amazing songs to play. Okay, and then we're gonna open this. I'm kind of feeling a little nostalgic right now. I'm just feeling really old, actually. Okay, so this is my senior portrait book. I don't think I've ever... I think it's been since we first got this book that I have actually looked through it. Um, it's crazy that this was really taken six years ago, back in 2014 these were shot. I graduated in 2015, um, so we're just going to do a quick flip through. Wow, this is like everything. Oh, I forgot about these. This is, oh, I was such a baby. This is like my favorite picture ever. I wasn't even like that great at basketball, but this was like so fun to shoot. And it was really fun because they asked you like what music you wanted to play. And we had Beyonce like jamming in the background while we were taking all of these that were in the actual studio. And then these were all shot in Fairhope. Um, if you're looking for some senior portraits, this is from Legacy Studios. These were my favorite. I think this is actually my favorite shot to do. And like all of these, I was so cool. I thought I was so cool. And these were some Auburn-y themed ones. It was like fall. It was like November or late October when we had this shoot. And we got to go all around Fairhope and shoot. I really haven't even looked at all these. Did my eyebrows. I didn't have so much powder on them. Like I had a cake face. So I wish I would have done a little bit less makeup. These are really fun to shoot. Yeah, it was like a 12 hour thing. It was literally from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, you can tell my mom is so proud because she hides all of my things in this thing. So this is from senior year. Um, a bag of quarters. I'm pretty sure those are mine from my yard self. This is from when I was a cheerleader. Valedictorian plaque. This is like my beta club. We didn't do anything for beta club in high school. These are my cords. I have no idea what they even mean. They always make the biggest deal about cords in high school and college, but you really don't need them. My valedictorian, what do you call it? Necklace? <laughs> I don't know what you call that. And normally I would never brag about this kind of stuff because I don't brag about anything, but in college I dumbed down a lot. So I can now brag on my old self because she worked really hard to get this little thing. This is from cheering. So I was UCA All-American senior year. And then AISA All-Star. These two actually mean a lot to me, but because before my senior year, I don't think I ever got UCA All-American. And AISA All-Star was just, I believe, 24 seniors were picked. And then, like, cheerleading was definitely not my biggest passion for, like, several different factors. Um, I used to love it, and then I stopped loving it as I got older. But a lot had to factor into that. So, yeah, these still are really important to me because I worked really, really hard to get those. But looking back at all this, none of it really means anything. But, yeah, once you look back at all this, like, years later, none of it really means as much as it did in the moment. So, definitely, if you're in high school or you're in college and you are working towards a goal, just remember that goal, if it's like this, it's going to end up in a box one day so make sure to have bigger goals than that and don't stress yourself out to get a plaque there's so much more to life than tears and crying over getting all a's all the time i promise you it'll get better just enjoy your life more obviously no one forced me to you know do cheerleading or to be valedictorian but i did have like a lot of pressure on me to want to succeed and I put a lot of pressure on myself mainly is who that pressure came from and I would cry so hard if I didn't get an A in something but I pretty much had all A's in high school and it wasn't that I was just like super smart it was a mix of my school was not that hard and also I just always was looking towards the future so from the time I was in middle school I was looking towards like making good grades for college and because of that 
I cried a lot and I stressed myself out a lot and I shouldn't have done that and if I could go back I would have done the things that I really enjoyed and not worried so much about what other people thought of me. If you are in high school and you have this pressure on you to do a certain thing, to go to a certain school, to major in something, to you know have a specific GPA, just know that that stuff doesn't matter. Make memories with your friends, enjoy your life. Not that I didn't do that. I did have a lot of fun in high school, but I did stress my own self out more than I should have. My face looks really bad right now. Work day is officially done. It is almost five o'clock and my mom is on her way home and I'm so excited because if you're from like near where I'm from, there's a restaurant called Six, like this hibachi place, the best hibachi ever. And they finally opened back up for to-go orders and she's bringing us home some sticks and I'm so excited. So when she gets here, I am going to just flip out because my favorite thing from Sticks is their salad, like the Asian salad with that good ginger dressing. Oh my word, I'm so excited. So right now my face looks like I just jumped into a bath of cheese puffs, but I think a lot of it's gonna come off when I'm in the shower. I really don't do any tan on my face, but I did it up to my neck and I just tried to blend and then I kind of patted around. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it'll be okay. Um, ignore the train. I live like right beside a train track and it is so loud all the time. And I'm just taking a walk around the yard with Daisy. My hair is so <laughs> greasy. Um, I don't understand how people can get more than a day without washing their hair. My hair gets so oily. You can kind of tell um, even from just going a little bit over 24 hours without washing my hair. It's crazy. Yes. Heck yeah. I'm all done with my hibachi. I have like enough to eat tomorrow too so that's amazing. It was so so good. But these are those vitamins that I was talking about. I talk about them in my current favorites video but just in case you didn't watch this is what has been giving me so much energy lately and then also while we're at it this mouthwash is amazing um if you hear singing it is my brother he sings all day long okay so we're out of the shower i feel like i pretty much lost like almost all the tan it looks kind of dark but that's because we're kind of in the dark um but yeah so definitely took off like three layers but I did want to show you guys this lotion that I found at Target the other day. So I felt like this is a very common brand. But I'm obsessed with this. So I have been so itchy every time I get out of the shower. And I've been using this for a couple days now. And it is amazing. So we had to do like a little grocery essentials run to Target last week. And I picked this up to see if it would help with my legs. And I'm not joking. I feel like I have to scratch my legs out of my body every time I get out of the shower um but this has been just magical and it smells like coconut but not like too strong um y'all know I'm always been loyal to my baby lotion but I think it's time to grow up and move on to something new but yeah this is this is great stuff okay so you can see like I no longer look like a cheeto I kind of do because I'm wearing an orange shirt but it looks so much better um so yeah, I'm really happy that a lot of that came off. I was like scrubbing my face in the shower, did my little hair care routine, put the usual in there. But yeah, I felt just so clean and yeah, I'm just so happy that that came off my face. Okay, so it is 8 o'clock and I have been sitting here for like 30 minutes just watching The Office. I keep asking recommendations for shows to watch, so I have shows that have been recommended to me to watch, but for some reason... I just keep watching The Office over and over and over again, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought NBC was supposed to be taking it off Netflix this past January, or is it next January? I don't know. I think what I'm about to do is just keep watching that, and then I might get on Pinterest on my laptop, that's a favorite thing to do. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to bed in like an hour or two, um... But yeah, let me know what you want to see next on my channel. Sorry, today was kind of like blah, but this was just a very realistic day in my life. So sorry, you keep touching my hair, but I will see y'all in my next video. And have a great night wherever you are um, and stay blessed. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah.